What's up, fellas? So I got this harness thing from uh, Black Diamond um, finally, and so I'm going to go over a few ways in which um, it sucks. Um, it's kind of it kind of is terrible that we have to do this in the first place because I mean this the problem with the switch um, right it is actually a real problem right I mean I can I can make it I can make it move you know with, without very much force um, you know to search from send um, you can't you can't you can't do it the you can't do it the other way. Right. I mean, so that the, the problem with the switch, I think, is is real. That was not a lot of just, you know, fingertip force that it took to make it. So, OK, I think that's a real problem. So at any rate, um, you know, the solution is to send this harness contraption thing. And I mean, first of all, my first problem with it is, is that, you know, you have to use a harness. And, you know, my my preference over time after, you know, after working in the field with these beacons, um, you know, my, my preference is to use a pocket. Um, I, you know, I found that the, 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 that the harness will tangle with the pack. Um, I like to carry my phone in my uh, chest pocket and it kind of puts it's, it puts this, the, uh, it puts the transceiver too close. Um, I think it's easier to, it's easier to deploy your transceiver when it's in a pocket. Um, uh, I think, I think it's also safer if you're lightly dressed. I mean, you know, when we go uphill, a lot of the times I'm stripping down to, um, you, you know, just a body layer, um, you know, meaning that the, that the harness ends up out, you know, when you're on the uphill, um, I'd rather have it zipped securely in my pocket. Um, I have a dedicated pocket that's, you know, down on my, down on my thigh. It's far from my phone. Uh, my pants aren't going to be, you know, ripped off in a, in an accident. I mean, if that happens, that's just God telling you your time is up. Um, and, and, um, it's, it's nice and close to the ground. Um, you know, so when you're down on your knees, you know, doing like a fine search and stuff, it actually keeps it at a nice low thing. So that's why I like, uh, you know, you using the pocket, um, as opposed to the harness. Um, so, you know, if you're using this thing though, and if you are a harness person, um, you know, uh, there are still some problems. I mean, one is, is that, um, to, to fit into this thing, it's, it's, it's got to be on send. Okay. And so it works like this. You, you know, put it face in these two things go there and then it kind of snaps in and it is in there pretty solid, right? These, you know, with these two things there, it's the, the it's, it's not like it's going to pop out of the top or anything. Um, and then you have to put these, uh, little fastix clips together. Um, you know, which you can see are not particularly easy to, to get together. Um, shit, I guess I'll just do that later. Um, um, but you know, for, I mean, the first problem is, is that when you're, if, if you have your beacon off, so like if it's in your regular luggage, you know, or in your bag, you have to carry these things separately, right? Which is a little bit of a hassle as opposed to just kind of having it all together, like with the old one, you know, where you could just kind of stick it in and carry and, and carry around. Um, you know, so that's, that's kind of issue number one with the, um, with the, with the, with the harness. I mean, ar arguably it's a safety feature, right? So that if you, if it's in there, you know, that you're on send, um, you know, but again, you know, if it's, <laughs> I mean, to me, knowing you're, you're on send is like, it's nice to be able to look at the thing. Right. So, um, uh, the other thing is that, um, I, I find that it's kind of a pain to work, pain to work with. I mean, as you could see, I had some trouble, um, you know, getting this thing in there. Cause these, the, the clips are like pretty tight. Um, you know, I mean, I'm having, I mean, and I'm having trouble doing this here, um, you know, in my nice warm desk. I mean, I can't, I'm, it's, it's going to be hard with cold fingers. And then, you know, since it is kind of hard to get it in there, there's a good chance that, you know, you're, you won't actually get a good, you know, sort of bite on this little fast X buckle here. Um, you know, so that's, that seems kind of like, like an issue to me. Um, it's a little bit, it feels like it's kind of hard to deploy to you know, pull it out. Um, you know, and then kind of pry it out of there. Like it's, it's, you know, I, I, I could dig my, I could dig this out of my pocket with my gloves on if I had to, um, you know, or if my fingers are really cold, there's no, you know, sort of no issue there. Um, it also kind of looks a little bit uncomfortable. Um, and I guess, you know, the last thing is too, is that, you know, I mean, it's obviously got to go to a, go to a thing. And, and this is a case it's got to be, I've got to tether this thing to me anyway, but, um, you know, I've had to use this, bat put put the tether on this battery screw before because for some reason a long time ago this 
that corner thing broke. Um, so just call that problem number two with the beacon. I think the long and the short of it is um, I'm going to eat the loss on this and get a new beacon and, uh, you know, fuck Black Diamond for what they did.